9.30 Monday on City TV. Back to City Online, City News reporter Richard Madden and Steve Withers from Vote for MMP. Back to website MM, voteformmp.ca if people want more information or to weigh in uh, on what you've said so far and uh, give you their thoughts. I want to hear from Paul, who uh, has been uh, formulating his uh, thoughts. Hi, Paul. How are you? How are you doing? I'm well. How are you doing today? What do you think of the campaign so far? And has this given you what you need uh, and have you been able to clarify what the big issue is for you? Uh, I've been able to clarify a few of the big issues for myself. I, I'm all across the province. I'm not sure of your age, but I'm assuming that you voted before in, in other elections. How does this rate as far as excitement building is concerned? And do you think that that will help get uh, a, a greater number of voters out? Uh, and do you think that people understand the issues and that referendum question? Uh, absolutely. I think one of the uh, one of the contributing factors Factors to to and I have voted before definitely. Um, one of the contributing factors to this being a more exciting election is the possibility of having MMP passed. Um, I, I, I totally understand what MMP is about. It, it's not actually a very difficult um, thing for people to to understand um, uh, once once they actually take a look at it. Um, I think part of the the issue with uh, with the understanding is that uh, we haven't had any any information put out um, by the government and 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 understandably so because MMP is not something that they would like to see. Um, it, it, would, uh, it would give more of a voice to, to the smaller parties, uh, which, which creates a more democratic system. I mean, Which would make uh, you happy since you told us which way you're voting. Oh, ab absolutely. It would make me happy to see a more democratic system. I mean, as Steve was mentioning, uh, the fact that our first-past-the-post system does not uh, allow you, does not allow you to, to utilize your vote. Essentially, if, you're, if your candidate does not win in your riding, your vote was completely wasted. So, so we end up with a lot of things a lot of voter apathy, people not even showing up to vote, people splitting their vote, uh, voting, in other words, voting for a party that they don't actually believe in simply to keep another party out of office. So, so a, lot of, a lot of these, these counter-democratic um, types of things are, are what happen in these, in these systems, these first-past-the-post systems like we have now. And that, that's something that MMP, I think, would, would address to, to a large extent. But I wanted to go back to what we were talking about earlier when we're hearing more and more people talking about voting for the Green Party. That, would, that party would fare quite well under MMP. Oh, well, they, well, put it this way. Look, what MMP does is it gives everybody a vote of equal value. So, I mean, at the end of the day, let's look at all the votes. When we look at all the votes wasted in each election, the vast majority of votes that don't elect anybody are actually for liberals and conservatives. All those liberals in the safe, rural, conservative seats and all the, all the conservatives in Toronto, 225,000 of them didn't elect anybody at all. They got more votes than the NDP, who won three seats. North of Perry Sound, from Quebec to Manitoba, there's not a single conservative MPP. So we're not talking just about minor parties. The, the, the winners in MMP is every last voter who gets a vote that counts. And if they happen to vote for a certain party, well, okay, that's the way the chips fall. Gentlemen, everyone watching, let's have a look at the results of our phone poll. This is what we asked. Have you decided who you will vote for in the provincial election? 244 say yes, and uh, looks like everybody out there campaigning has to work on at least 140 people who have said no.